We're on part two item names of using advanced actions. This video is really all about how important it is to um, name items in the properties inspector and <clears throat> these items um, are, are just anything in your game that you might need to control and um, for this game we're utilizing click boxes. Um, there's a click box over every single letter on this grid and um, and you'll see in the properties of the each um, click box over here um, that the item has a name um, uh, like in this case it's M and when we hit the click box over the letter T the items name is T and so on and uh, when you just add in a click box by inserting one it, it comes into your page um, with a pretty generic name and so what you'll want to do say if you're going to put this one over the S you want to name it to where you can identify it um, so you just call it anything you want probably S is a good guess and uh, you would do that so it's really important to name your um, items as you add them in here uh, because that's what you're going to control with your advanced actions and when you get into building an advanced action you're going to have to tell it to control something and if you haven't named your items with some kind of logical in some kind of logical way that you can understand and remember um, you're going to have a really hard time so it's probably a good idea first just to write down on a piece of paper or a notepad all your items and the names as you're kind of planning out how you're going to build the game and it, as you might be seeing here this game is built almost entirely with click boxes each of these click boxes are going to have an advanced action associated with it and it's going to do something special based on that and so um, it's good to really name you know I haven't done I've got the am I right and I've got a click box over that to check and you see I haven't named that um, very well that's not what you want to do you you would probably want to just call that am I right um, so don't follow that example and uh, and also um, how this game is built is um, as you click on these it reveals the guy and what you're not seeing are these little rectangles and they start off um, by blocking out the uh, the red alien who is who is behind there and if we select these rectangles see I, I've named them um, red E so it these rectangles are actually hiding the alien as I X them out I can reveal the alien down here but um they start by hiding the alien and um, we're going to unhide them with advanced actions and on the other hand um, this smile here that we see that that is going to be revealed but you don't see it when the game starts um, and um, you can see when you click on the S here that um, it's got a good label for it because we're going to have to tell it to show itself and that's why we started off invisible by clicking off um, the visibility and we'll, we'll show that we'll, we'll create an advanced action to when they hit S here it will tell this guy to show itself um, so really it's important to use items and uh, and name them really well before you even get started it's part of planning and it's going to make your life a lot easier down the road so now we're going to go off to the next section will which will be creating variables